A pro-Trump group is pushing Governor Glenn Youngkin to dump his education nominee. Look Ahead America is a nonprofit founded by a former Trump campaign staffer. And um, it was interesting. I got this news release today uh, in which Look Ahead America's Virginia volunteer coordinator uh, is quoted urging the governor, Republican Governor Glenn Youngkin, to withdraw his nomination of Amy Gadara to serve as his secretary of education. And the problem, in essence, uh, is that she's for equity in education. And this is an interesting topic here. First, I'll, I'll quote the... Um, the Look Ahead America Virginia State Volunteer Coordinator, Craig Stewart. We are calling on Governor Youngkin to withdraw his nomination of Gadara because of her roles in organizations such as Pahara Aspen Education Fellowship, DQC, her company until 2018, and her collaboration to advance, quote, equity, unquote, with organizations like Urban Institute's National Neighborhood Indicators Partnership. They do not align with the pro-American agenda. Um, Trying to make sense of this, I uh, had to do some research. First, we find out that Pahara Aspen Educational Fellowship is a two-year cohort-based program that identifies leaders in the educational equity, excellence and equity movement. You hear the word equity there. DQC is the Data Quality Campaign. It's a nonprofit leading the effort to empower educators, students, parents, and policymakers with the information they need to make the best decisions to improve student outcomes. Got that from their, straight from their website. Gader is the former president and CEO of DQC. So there you go, another... Uh, need uh, best information for the best decisions to improve student outcomes. Uh, that doesn't, the word equity is not there, but it's implied. The National Neighborhood Indicators Partnership is a learning network connecting partner organizations in 30 cities that ensure their communities have access to data and the skills to use information to advance equity and well-being across neighborhoods. You can probably see the obvious problem here if you're um, a nonprofit that is pro-Trump. The governor, here's going back to quoting Stewart, the governor should select someone who is better qualified to institute policy that will build our children up together and not divide them along the tenets of critical race theory praxis. Well, that sounds, um, sounds official. More from Stewart fighting anti-American poison like critical race theory. Sorry to laugh. And our public schools is important, but it isn't enough. Even if CRT was defeated, another leftist anti-American theology would replace it. This is comical as the default educational framework in our public schools, unquote. Um, to sum this up, uh, pro-Trump Republican group tells pro-Trump governor that his pro-Trump education secretary is not pro-Trump enough. And that's the news on this. Thanks for being here with us. Please feel free to comment uh, below. We'd love to hear from you.